am proud to be a colleague of this distinguished scientist whose pioneering work in gene targeting today was awarded the ultimate honor in medicine. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be standing up here today and to congratulate Mario Capecchi with extraordinary lifetime achievement. His gene targeting truly has changed the course of medical research. The 2007 Nobel Laureate in Physiology or Medicine, Dr. Mario Capecchi. What the lab has uh, accomplished is the ability to change a gene in a uh, living mammal. We can alter any gene in the mouse. Where its use comes in is that many, many uh, diseases are, are caused by genes. They can be a single gene defect, which then cause a particular um, uh, disease, or alternatively, they participate in that disease. And so this allows us then to study the pathology, turn around, and once you understand the disease, develop new therapies. Many people ask me, you know, why would you leave Harvard to go to Utah? And, uh, and the answer was that I had to have a place where I could work on long-term goals. If you want to work on something that's going to take 10 years to develop, you can't have something new every day. And I think uh, University of Utah provided that opportunity, which I wouldn't have had uh, had I stayed back east. I think Utah has the capability. If we want to reach the critical mass, the only way we can reach it is to work together and to collaborate with each other. And that's where we gather our strength. The administration has been extremely supportive. Uh, and you know, all we have to have is the imagination to do something uh, and uh, voice it, uh, and they will come up with the funds to do that. Uh, so that's extraordinary. Uh, and so I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be here at university. It's a remarkable environment. We will have more Nobel Prize winners coming, uh, and I hope very soon.